and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the cutout glitch effect in After Effects. I hope you guys thought the preview looked good, I thought this effect was pretty really cool in my opinion, this rotor brush glitch effect here, very very cool. And yeah, let's get into the tutorial now. So I'm in After Effects here, I've added the footage I'm going to be using for this tutorial here. And the first thing we're going to be doing is basically roll to brush out the person we want the effect to affect basically. So if you guys don't know how to roll to brush, I actually made a tutorial on it, which will be linked in the description so you guys can go and check it out if you don't know how to roll to brush. And when you guys have a rotor brush to your clip, it should look something like this. It's a cutout version of your person. And the first thing we're going to be doing here is basically press Ctrl D to duplicate this uh, layer here. And we're going to be going to the bottom layer and deleting the rotor brush effect. And after that, go to the top layer here. And here we're going to be adding the glitch effect here. And I'm going to be using my TV glitch presets V3 editing pack. And I'm going to be adding the 49th effect in that pack. And this is how the effect is going to look here. You guys can see this cutout version glitching here. Super, super cool effect. And now I'm going to be adjusting the settings here uh, in my preset. So I'm going to be uh, making the post-rise time invisible because I don't want it to be 15 frames per second. Well, it all depends on what uh, you know FPS you have on your composition, but I have 24 now, so I'm going to deselect that one because I don't want to have 15 for the moment. And for the deep glow, I'm going to be increasing uh, the glow here. So I'm going to set the threshold to 50%, radius to 700 and exposure to 1.1 there's a tiny increase there nice and after that you're going to be changing the blending mode here to screen and this is how the effect is going to look now i think it looks really really cool this glitch effect here and the last thing i'm going to do is making some small adjustments by making a adjustment layer control alt y and here i'm going to be adding transform this is also optional my uh, you know clip i'm using has black bars on the side so i'm going to just zoom in a little bit to fix that after that, I'm going to be adding Sapphire Threshold, then increase the softness to 0.82, something like that. It's just going to increase the contrast a little bit and make it full screen. So this is what you guys get now. Absolutely amazing effect. And if you guys also want to use this effect here, this cool looking glitch effect, it's available on our website, editingvisuals.com. And the editing pack is TV Glitch Presets V3. And you guys can use the discount code PELLE to save $5 on that pack. And if you guys thought this effect and uh, this tutorial was good, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out our socials, our Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.